Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. I am down in the Bastrop, Texas area. Actually paying a visit this weekend to Lake Bastrop. We'll be camping at the North Shore Park. But today I find myself exploring Lake Bastrop South Shore Park. So I've got the little red high-speed mobility scooter with me. I have the GoPro, the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. Best of all, I have you. So let's jump on Little Red and go take a tour of this fantastic park on Lake Bastrop. Lake Bastrop North Shore Park. We got plenty of elevation on the camera. Plenty of battery in the scooter. So cue the music. As you can see here at the, at the very front of the park, this, this area of Texas is known as the Lost Pines area. And that's because of these, fence, these beautiful loblolly pines. And these are a unique genetic subset of the loblolly pine. Now I know all this because of the past visits to Lake Bastrop State Park and a couple of other parks down here. These loblolly pines were separated from the forest out in East Texas by the last ice age. And they have evolved to survive on less water, which is what makes them unique and that is why they are called the lost pines so on our visit and now, now that you've got your history lesson we're going to cruise on over and check out the day use area then we'll visit the rv loop and finish up with one of the coolest cabin loops that i've had the pleasure of of, of visiting <laughs> It is the end of October, October 28, 2021. We had our first real cold front for the year blow in yesterday. And so the wind is just outrageous. As over here, we actually have a, a fishing dock as well as the courtesy dock for the boat ramp. Let's do a loop-de-loo -loo here so you can get a good look at that boat ramp. It's a one-laner. Now Lake Bastrop is a power plant lake, so it tends to be much warmer. From what I've read, it gets downright hot during the summer. So this is the day you swim area. We have a lot of activities for you to, to keep the kids occupied. And here on the left, we have the Osprey Point Hall, which, is, which would be great for your family reunions. There are a few cabins located over here, but just you wait. There are some really nice cabin sites on the other side of this cove. And that's where we will finish up this, this video. So let's go check out the RV loop. We got Miss V's, I'm sorry, Miss V's gone. I got Trudy Thunder parked at the boat ramp. Since we're not camping here. I am at the North Shore Park. And you'll see that video, or if you probably already saw that video. And hopefully while I'm here, I'm gonna be able to 
navigate at least one trail. Do a scooter run on a trail. Well, that is supposedly a great birding trail. All right, we're gonna do the RV loop twice because the sights, some are from one direction, some are from the other direction. They all look like they're, they're really good sights, mostly level, concrete, I haven't seen a whole lot of, I haven't seen any full connection sites. All I have seen are water and electric. Now the sites that I really like over in this camping loop are on right down here. They are water sites. That one in particular, number 36, and number 35. 35 and 36 are, yeah, 34, 34, 35, and 36 are all three that I would be honored to park my rig in. They have the Lewis Point Commons, which is, uh, yeah, number 12 is cool. All right, that brings us to the end of the camping loop. So I'm gonna spin around and take us through the opposite direction so you can see the sights on the inside of the loop. Go down here and check out this cabin loop and wrap it up. Beautiful little park. This road back here is plenty, plenty rough.
we're gonna we're gonna cruise down here. I'm gonna let you have a stunning view of Lake Bash. There we go. Hey, man, those are always so much fun. I sure appreciate you guys. Oh, put the sun behind you. Those were always so much fun. I really appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be so honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button down there. And if you find it to be of value and entertaining, click on that thumbs up and share it on your social media. They make it very easy for you. Just click the share tab down there. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I, I cannot say it enough. Thank you so much. That's why I get to. That's why I get to do this. Come out here, ride that little scooter, and see places I've never seen before. All because of you. Thank you so much for that. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now. You hear?